Well, hello there, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be on this big blue marble. It's Walt with you here from Dallas Love Field on this Friday afternoon. And uh, we're going to be looking at some planes from a new viewpoint. What you see there is the Dallas Mavericks plane. It is getting ready for takeoff in a short time, so we'll get a good look at that as that happens. And we'll get some other ground level shots for you. But the thing is, I'm gonna have to put this into music mode for a little while because I have some breaking news to deal with at my regular job. So we'll get a look at this plane taking off and then, we'll, then I'll have to bail out for a little while to do some work. I think I just kicked the tripod and made it be a little crooked here. So hang on there. I'll give you, I'll, I'll keep you uh, zoomed in on the Mavericks plane until I can get back to you. Let me straighten out my tripod first. So there it is behind, <clears throat> behind me, sorry. I'll put that on. We're going to play some music, and I'll be back as soon as I get this breaking news posted to my uh, my work website. So stand by on Runway Diablo.
Here's another blast from the past. So it's a little frustrating. I'm, I'm unable to open a document on my computer for some reason. So now I'm having to find another way to do it. Stand by, if you would. What I'm doing is trying to get a uh, document open on my computer. It's frustrating. Okay, I think I found it. So I should get this out of the way in, in a little bit. I mean, if you're just joining us, you're looking at the Dallas Mavericks aircraft here at Love Field in Dallas. And um, there I am in the foreground trying desperately to post a story to my web page. Not my web page, my, my TV station's web page. So as soon as I get this out of the way, I'll be back with you for all the stuff we usually do. I appreciate your hanging in there with us on uh, this edition of Runway DFW. I love South 1349, I'm on the right side. South 1349, left there. Continue runway 31 right, company will hold into the
If you're just joining us, your host is currently engaged in producing a, uh, a breaking news story for my TV station's website. And so uh, I'm a little bit, I wasn't anticipating this. So meanwhile, you get to watch the uh, Dallas Mavericks board their plane And uh, let me wrap, I'll wrap up this in a few minutes and get back to the act, the uh, festivities here. So I appreciate your patience on Runway DFW at Dallas Love Field. I'm almost finished. I got one more story to post. 
to uh, get the website all updated, and I'll be with you in a few minutes. Probably about five more minutes, so hope you can hang with us. I'll zoom in a little bit here on the uh, on the gangway here, so you can see what's going on on the Dallas Mavericks aircraft right over there. Great memories. Our musical interlude has concluded, and uh, we're about to begin our broadcast officially a little bit late. Thanks for sticking with us. Uh, let me get things all lined up here. Let me log out of work. Call up Flight Radar 24, see what's going on here. And okay, so let's uh, fade the music down. And we'll get to you. I apologize once again for the uh, for the delay. What uh, again? What you're looking at right over there is the official Dallas Mavericks aircraft, which was set to go out, I think, at one o'clock. So it's running a little late, but uh, it happened when we were here on uh, on Eclipse Day. On April 8th, I think it was, we, the Mavericks plane also went out, although we didn't get to see it from where we were. We didn't get to see it loading up. So now we can. Um, our situation is this. We're parked on a, on a side street adjacent to the airport, Love, Dallas Love Field Airport, and our view is not unobstructed. Well, let's put it this way. Our view is obstructed. Uh, so, that means, uh, you know, we'll have some fence in the way sometimes, but uh, we're just trying it out. So, we'll point over here. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. We're looking towards the the gate area over there at uh, Dallas Love Field and looking right through a fence. There's just no two ways about it. I can't lift my tripod up any or high enough to get over the fence. So. 
definitely a uh, shortcoming of this location, but, but then again, we get to see the planes roaring off into the sky like this business jet that's coming at us here. out so well, did it? I think the bigger planes will be uh, easier to focus upon. I'm still trying to get this tripod balanced the right way. We have some birdies here too. All right, well, um, and now look what we have here. We've got a fuel truck blocking our view of the, uh, the Mavericks plane. So far, we're losing. We are over on the east side of the airport. We have a north flow going on today, which is one reason we chose not to hang out at DFW Airport, because north flow is not all that compelling at DFW from Founders Plaza. So let's say hello to folks while we're kind of figuring things out here. There's Uncle Plane Guy. Walt, I will try to catch your flight into Indianapolis. Well, thank you, Uncle Plane Guy. Uh, as, as we've mentioned uh, frequently in the last few broadcasts, we will be going to Indianapolis, Indiana, this Friday. And we'll try to shoot off some shows from Indianapolis International Airport. And I will... Uh, I will let our members know what my what my flight number is. Uh, I'll put it up in a message in the members section. There's a JSX aircraft. It's an Ember 145. It just came in from where is that? BJC. I don't recognize that. Oh, that's a Denver area airport. Okay, we're not trespassing. And yes, I'm playing guy send send me an email. Walt at runwaydfw.com is my address and I'll fill you in. So Irish Dublin says good afternoon everyone. Guy Bowen said, bad Sinatra show start. Well, and bad association ripoff. Yeah, all of our, sh all of our songs uh, here at Runway DFW are ripoffs of, they're, des they're designed to be, to not set off any alarms for the, uh, for copyright infringement. But some of them kind of sound a little bit like other songs. That's intentional. Well, we have some more basketball players or their... Uh, What's happened here? Well, they were there. Here they are, they're getting ready to board. Once again, the Dallas Mavericks. I have no idea. I guess the playoffs are coming, and I have no idea if the Mavericks are in or out. Okay. 
And Uncle Plane Guy lets us know this plane is uh, headed to LAX when it gets ready to take off. Let's uh, break away from this for a second. See if we can get you a shot of the Alaska Airlines plane that just came in from Seattle. Now, this is not working out at all, is it? <laughs> it's pulling into the gate as we look at the chain link fence. This camera is very automated, and I haven't figured out how to uh, how to disengage the autofocus. Like just focus in on something that's far away, then uh, we'd be okay. Hello, Gary Garrett. Thank you for subscribing to our little channel here. I don't have as many cameras going as I normally do. Just got three today. Here's a look at downtown Dallas skyline, and uh, there is a southwest jet down there. Getting ready to take off. But it's got to wait for the arrival of a flex jet from Saratoga. I guess Saratoga, New York. It's an Embraer Phenom 300 is what's coming in. So let's see if we can pick that out of the sky. Sarah Deal, thank you for a $10 super chat. Hello there, Walt, says she. I have a surprise. I'm coming to DFW on May 11th. Staying for a few days. Hope to meet up with you sometime, maybe at Founders. Very excited about coming. See you soon. Well, thank you for that, Sarah. And I very much look forward to seeing you again. The last time Sarah came, uh, we were hanging out on runway 36 right. So we had a nice visit. I was glad that she could stop by, and so that is great news, Sarah. Thank you. All right, now we have uh, can see in the background there in the top right of your screen. That's flight two six. 6-5 coming in from Birmingham, Alabama. Southwest plane coming in on the west side of the airport. But our interest is now directed at this plane, which I don't have on the radar yet. Do I? See, they're poking out from behind the... a couple of trucks. A tanker truck from Wasatch Truck Lines, and uh, this truck, a Plain Jane truck. There it is. Okay. So, uh, this is flight 2193, a 737 MAX 8 going to Kansas City. Well, as I said, this is not our best viewing location so far, but, uh, you know, I saw it and I thought, well, let's give it a try. Honestly, don't know if this is a place I'm going to try again, but it's all right. Okay. 
So the plane bound for Kansas City is getting ready to take off there. Let's see if we can follow this one up in the air. Here on runway DFW at Dallas Love Field. We're in jail. We're in plane spotting jail. And just as that plane took off, this plane landed. It's coming in from uh, Nashville. Flight 606, 737, 700. Yeah, I don't know about this location. Pan Am 436 says, why are you not on the rooftop of the parking as the past? Well, I was just looking for a change of pace. That was basically it. And I'd never tried this as a, uh, as a spotting location before. And what really kind of got me interested in here was the, uh, the Mavericks plane, which is right adjacent to us. Well, that's the way to do it, to fly right over the top of the fence. I suppose if I were in the bed of Super Samu, we might have enough elevation to get a better runway shot here. But you live and learn. There's the Entrance door to the Mavericks plane. I don't know any of the Mavericks players, I have to be honest with you. Luka Don, Donchik, I think, is one. Is there, like, their star? We get some good sounds here. A 737-700. Coming in from Midland, Texas. A 50-minute flight aboard that 17-year-old aircraft. And look what we got over here. I believe that's a Sun Country plane. I didn't, they, I didn't know they flew into here. It's probably a charter. Um, it's going to St. Louis. No, it's an Allegiant Air. I'm sorry, Allegiant Air going to St. Louis. I don't know if that's a regular service or a charter or what.
So boarding the Mavericks charter, or I guess the Mavericks plane, I don't think it's a charter. Getting checked in there. Somebody's taking pictures from behind the fence. You'd think they could just walk on the plane, but I guess they have to have go through some of those. Just people taking pictures, I guess. They do have to do some walking from wherever their vehicles are. So I think our trick is to not zoom in too closely here. I don't see anything coming in immediately, so that... Uh, A few trains out with a $7.37 tips. How appropriate. Thank you, a few trains out. Let me conjure up your message once again because it went by too quickly for me to. So we'll do that. He says, uh, nothing ventured, nothing game when it comes to checking out a location. What kind of plane is taking the team to their game? Can't see it on Flight Radar 24 at the moment. I believe it's a, uh, a 7. 767. Seven. Look it up here. And get a little better look at it here. That <laughs> tanker parked in the way just in time for us not to be able to get a very good look at it. Zoom in on the end number here. And 801, okay, I got it wrong. There's a 757. This close, it looks so big. I'll swing around and get you another plane taken off here. So that is a, uh, that plane, I won't subject you to another whip around there. I thought it was a 757, but, or 757, but it looked too big from this vantage point, but it is a 757, 30 years old aircraft, 757-200. I am sure that on the inside it is quite well appointed. And again, it's scheduled to go out to Los Angeles. Uh, scheduled departure was 47 minutes ago. And we'd like to thank Wasatch Tank Lines for sponsoring this segment of Runway DFW. All right, well, here come some bags. Some professional basketball player bags, I'm, ass I'm assuming here. And he's got the code. Copy, thanks. 
Screamer A2, Jet Avia Charlie, monitor ground. We're six to whiskey contact, reasonable departure. On departure, six to So with the Dallas Skyline in the background, we've got another departure coming up here. Business jet of some sort. I'm still feeling my way around business jets. Cleared the fence for us. That's uh, Net Jets Flight 544 on its way to San Diego, California. And somebody just pulled in besides me. And what was that plane? That was a Cessna 680A Citation latitude that we just saw taking off. Well, right back to the Mavericks plane. I don't see any straggler. When I set up, we had a clear shot of it. <laughs> but I'm unable to adjust my position at this point. So we're just stuck with it. Uncle Plain Guy says uh, we have a an ex FedEx 727 at Indianapolis. Was FedEx's last 727 all white? If you want to zoom into something when there's no planes, I will look forward to that. I and uh, Uncle Car Guy, if you have any great plane spotting locations there. I've been scoping it out, uh, scoping out Indianapolis. And the best I've, well, there's a couple places to, to hang out. I'm guessing I'm gonna first explore the uh, parking garage, although I know there's some, some new construction going on, on uh, I think the north side of the parking garage, so. There may be some visibility issues from up there, but we'll see how it turns out. There's Lori M, one of our great channel members who is waving to Tom and Ann from Overcast Muggy Garland. Yes, uh, uh, Lori M brought her friends from across the pond over to see us a couple times at uh, Founders Plaza at DFW Airport. Here you see in the distance coming in to the east side of the airport. Southwest flight 4330, the 737-800 arriving from Long Beach, California. And again, that's landing over on the east side of the field. As it disappears behind the parking structure where I was going, I was on my way there 
to that very parking garage where we normally have done our broadcasts, and I thought, well, try something different. interesting to see the different uh, altitudes these planes lift off at. You know, some of them go higher in the sky, some of them go lower. The higher they go, the better off we are where we are here on the east side of Dallas Love Field. We're just a hop and a skip from, our, from where we had uh, brought you our eclipse coverage. Uh, what is it, a week ago, Monday? Wow, it seems like a long time ago now. Seems like an age, as they say. I spy a tri-jet. how much of it we're going to be able to bring you, but... But that's it over there behind the no trespassing sign. So it appears to be heading down to the end of the runway for takeoff. Oh, one more obstacle out of our way. Donnie White says, hello, Walt. Donnie's a channel member. Did you hear about the problem Alaska Airlines had with their computer system a few days ago? Every jet was grounded. Yeah, I did hear about that. That couldn't have been a pleasant experience for passengers. When I got here, there was a catering truck uh, attached to the to the Maverick shed. It looks like they're getting ready to pull back the stairway here. So we won't be able to see it push back, I guess. See Tom and Ann in the chat. Well, hello, Tom and Ann. Very nice to have you here on this side of the observing things on this side of the pond. Uh, both Uncle Plane Guy and Super 80 Swiss Air reminding me that that was a Dassault, Dassault Falcon, that trijet. I knew that, but I had. Uh, Oh, somehow I forgot.
or as we say here in Texas, dassault, past dassault. I believe this twin engine aircraft just came in. From an airport with the airport code CXO. Another one that's unfamiliar to me, that is a Conroe. It's a Piper PA31350. That was one of your older planes. Looks like the Dassault is ready to fire up its th three engines and head out. I do not see it on the, the old radar, so I can't tell you where it's going. So here for all of you three engine fans. Just after two o'clock here at, Dal at uh, Dallas Love Field Airport in Dallas, Texas, it is Runway DFW live at Dallas Love Field on this April 19th, 2024. My name is Walt, and we are here with you probably for another hour-ish as we bring you the planes from uh, the second airport here in the Dallas area. The second commercial airport, I should say. It's an interesting livery. Obscured though it is, a Gulfstream G600. And this didn't well, it says it departed three hours and 31 minutes ago, but it came from Alliance Airport in Fort Worth, so I guess it must have been on some kind of a test. It is. It's a test flight, it says here. This is, uh, I'm guessing, a relatively new plane. Gulfstream G600. And if I look at the flight pattern, yeah, it just made a big circle. It went all the way to almost to Albuquerque, it looks like and then kind of circled back. So there you go. That's a it's pretty cool looking livery though. Wish I could give you a clearer shot of it. That noise you hear in the background is the Dallas Maverick 757 you see there behind our camera. We still got a tank truck in our way, but it's getting ready to push back or maybe pull forward because I don't see any tug hooked up to it. And it looks like it's in a position where it could just move forward and circle, circle around.
And it is now on the radar. As you hear the sound of a 737-700 landing from San Diego, California, over to the side of us here. Get you one more peek of that that test flight plane. We're full pump echo to reduce near three times your still position. And I think the Mavericks plane is getting ready to move here. Playing guy says, Walt, you will be the first live streamer for Indianapolis. Is that right? Well, that'd be kind of cool, I think. I, it seems like somebody must have done a live stream from there at some point. Bertram Joshua says, good evening from Trinidad, enjoying the stream. Boy, thank you for coming in here and checking us out, Bertram. A few trains at channel member says, apparently a Dassault Falcon 900LX costs a mere $44.7 million. Out of my out of my budget. Rigoberto Juarez, the channel member, says hello, Runway DFW. Hello, Walt. Good afternoon. Hello to you. Lori M says, does Cuban, she's referring to Mark Cuban, the the uh, former owner of the team, but still general manager. I think that's how that all worked out. Or does he take his own jet? I don't I don't have the answer to that, Lori. I wasn't watching intently all of the boarding procedures, so I don't know if uh, if Mark is on there or not. There it goes. Well, we'll get a little better look at it as it uh, heads out. Now, of course, it is going to LAX, and so it's, there's a chance that it'll head over to the other side of the airfield for that, but I don't know. Hey, love tower, check to 262 is with you. Now the last time we saw this plane take off, which was on our the kind of the finale of our eclipse broadcast, it did take off from this side of the airport, but I can't remember where it was going on that occasion. Here's one of your larger business jets. I won't even attempt to zoom into that. <laughs> it's going to Santa Barbara, California. It was a uh, Bombardier Global Express XRS. Oh, great, another tanker truck. 
Thank you, Wasatch Truck Lines. There's the Mavericks plane there. <laughs> Only partially, well, now almost totally eclipsed by the Wasatch, another Wasatch tr Tank Lines truck. We can't win for losing. We got uh, our first half hour of our broadcast was kind of taken up with me having to do some work for my employer. I should check to make sure that that published correctly. Yes, okay, good. Well, at least one, um, something unblocking here. Just to uh, kind of uh, bring you up to the moment, we are here at Dallas Love Field. We're on the east side of Dallas Love Field on a little bitty street that uh, backs up to the uh, east side runways. Love Tower, good afternoon, November 800, you and Mike Wisdom. It's called Crest Haven Road is where we're at. So it does look as though the Mavericks aircraft is headed to the end of the runway here on the east side. So we'll get to see it take off. Tower 801 Delta Mike holding short of 31 right at Alpha 1. Roger. And Uncle Plain Guy, yes, I will send you that information. I will indeed. Have to get into the runway DFW mobile here to get a another battery for our main computer because when you're out in the bright sunlight like this and everything's turned up all the way as far as brightness goes, it does kind of eat away at the old battery. Roger, uh, continue via Bravo and then just uh, hold short of Bravo for now. Alright, we'll cross at Mike 2 and hold short of Bravo. This uh, business jet coming in from Austin, Texas. A Bombardier uh, Challenger 650. Yeah, I can smell the jet fuel. We'll follow the Southwest 1 Delta Mike. There's the Mavericks plane crossing the main runway over here. Maybe it is going over to the east side. Couple 376, RNF Mir, runway 31 right, full length, clear takeoff. Southwest Airlines flight 376 is now getting ready to launch to Austin, Texas. This will be a 737, 723-year-old plane here on runway DFW at Dallas Love Field. And yes, it's next Friday that uh, yours truly will be winging his way to Indianapolis. Be there for the weekend through Monday. So we'll see what we can see. Okay. 
It's kind of like being in, a, in an old-fashioned zoo here. Now, when I was little, zoos were, you were kept, be, you were kept from the animals by bars and cages and things like that. And, you know, more modern zoos kind of have restructured it so the animals can be in an environment which is similar to their to their upbringing and you kind of look down on them from, you know, behind a moat or something, so. But this is kind of old fashioned. Well, there's another, another Dasso, or maybe that's the same one, I don't know. Anthony Guinan with a two dollar super chat. Thank you, Anthony. Are you broadcasting on your lunch break? Yes, that is that is kind of the deal here. I'm on an extended lunch break. So we won't be with you for too much longer. Here's the Mavericks plane down there. Behind that pickup truck. And an Embraer, Embraer Phenom 300 is about to pass in front of us. Bus tower, Southwest 1288 on the RC, Zulu 311. I think. Yeah, there it is. We've got a Cessna, Cessna 700 Citation Latitude, which is about to land over there somewhere. Southwest 5111, runway 31 right, line of point. My point 31 right, Southwest 5111. For one Delta Mike, let up Falcon off your left taxi first. They'll be, have a full time for them. One Delta Mike, we'll let Falcon go ahead. Oh, the tank trucks are out of the way now. Give me a mic culture to 31 right. right off of two, alpha, monitor ground on the way. So anyway, we're kind of parked on a cul-de-sac here, adjacent to the east runway at Dallas Love Field. Southwest 5111, RNF to Barry, runway 31 right, full length, clipper takeoff. On it, Barry, clipper takeoff. Southwest 5111. So you heard it, Southwest Flight 5100 is lining up to take off. Not currently on radar, or at least my radar. Broadcast location today is adjacent to. I'll show you here in a second. To RBR Aviation, and uh, I, I remember that because on the last time we were up on top of the the uh, parking garage, not not the Eclipse parking garage, but the. Uh, Love Field parking garage, we saw a, a convoy of military personnel towing the presidential helicopter into this hangar. It had just come out of a, a C-17 cargo plane. Right, another biz jet about to launch into the skies here. I think the 
This is a Flex Jet Bombardier Challenger 300, I think. And you can see way over on the east side, on the right, far right of your picture, is a southwest plane coming in from Austin, Texas. There is a... Uh, Seven 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 X ray Victor, RNAP to Mears, runway three one right, full length clip takeoff. Runway zero one Delta Mike, runway three one right, full length line of point, traffic six mile final citation. One Delta Mike. Where's Beth F says uh, Love Field? Nice change of scenery. We were here last Monday for the eclipse, right? Well, a week ago Monday, yes. And that reminds me, Beth F., I have a, an image of yours to share with our audience. Uh, Beth was kind enough to send us a drawing, her rendition of a FedEx DC-10, which I think is, is quite good. What do you think? That is very nicely proportioned. Very nice indeed. So thank you for sharing that with our audience, Beth F. Say again for Alpha. Man with Alpha, begin reducing your speed. I reduce speed for Alpha. As you can see, a mostly cloudy day with the sun peeking through here. So that was a Learjet 45 headed off to parts unknown. And I think, is this the Mavericks plane here? I believe it is. The Dallas Mavericks basketball team headed off to LAX on that 757 team plane. One Delta Mike, contact region and report your shield. 801 Delta Mike. And yeah, it's just not going to be high enough for us to, to shoot it over that. Barbed wire. Top left, nine, or question 290, left tower, runway 309, full length, line of point. Line of point, top left, 290. Top left, 3749, let a challenger pass in front of you, head into your left. Top left, 3749, no problem. Club 556, you'll be in front of the top left, to your right, hold short of 319. Roger, Club 556. Let's get up, let's get and with the Alpha Roger, right on Alpha 5, taxi Alpha Monitor, ground good day. Alpha 5, Alpha Monitor, ground with the Alpha Phone. Alpha 14, 0, 2, 3, 1, left. Alpha 14, 0, 2, left, runway with 3, 1, left, team traffic will be in position. Coming in from Marshall, is that Alabama? I think that's Alabama. Cessna 560 XL Citation XLS Plus. Camiers, runway 31 right, full length, quick takeoff. I think it's 31 right, setting out south of 290. Flex at 349, cost my turbo 737 departing, runway 31 right, quick land. 31 right, quick land, flex at 349. Delta 2028, left tower, runway 31 left, line of way. Carrie J is our newest member, thank you, Carrie. 31 left, line of way, Delta 2028. That reminds me that I must. Pop in our salute of members before it gets too late here.
That was flight 290. Going to Lubbock, Texas, a 737-700. That was 18 years old. Southwest 290, contact reach another departure. Archer, Southwest 290. Southwest 2028, or to float, runway 31 left, clear for takeoff. RNAV float, 31 left, clear for takeoff, Delta 2028. Yeah, big straight 289 is about 8 out for 31 right. Southwest 1402, runway 31 left, clear to land. We have a Delta aircraft. You might have heard it on the on the uh, ATC. It is taking off for Atlanta. Let's see if we can watch that lift off here. We're going to circle around over here. Watch this plane go by. I don't know. Angle's probably not going to be very good for us, I must say. It's an Airbus A319. We wouldn't have been able to give you a much better view from the parking garage, but, well, there you go. Alessio Pele is our newest subscriber. Thank you, Alessio. Southwest 4760, left tower, runway 31 right. Southwest 4760, left tower, runway 31 right. Continue traffic will be in position. So we are adjacent to, you hear them talking about runway 31 right and 31 left. We are adjacent to 31 right. We have a JSX aircraft. It's an Embraer 145LR. Can you check, please? When at 320 Now on final approach from Houston Hobby Airport. There it is. Despite the fact that I said it was cloudy, the uh, it's very glary today. And now it's fully sunny outside. Number at 33 Hotel, no delay, runway 31 right, clear for takeoff, RNAV to Barry. RNAV to Barry, clear for takeoff, 31 right, clear to land. 4760, runway 31 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 31 right, Southwest 4760. We have a Southwest plane getting ready to land. There's a, uh, this plane is taking off. So it will have cleared the runway by the time that, uh, where is that guy?
If you're watching this on a 70-inch TV and wondering, why isn't he focusing in on the plane? <laughs> because I can't see it. Three three hotel contact region of departure today. Go departure three three hotel. So. Our medevac seven two six point zero left tower runway three one right at a four line of point. Three one left. Uh, three one right line of point. One zero. Take off forty seven sixty turn right Mike five Mike contact ground today. Mike five Mike contact ground top forty seven sixty. Four zero nine nine two love tower runway three one left amount of point. That plane came in from New Orleans. It left the Crescent City an hour and five minutes ago. A thirteen year old seven thirty seven seven hundred. Medivac six Mike Joy, far enough to bury runway three one right at off one clear for takeoff. Apparently we have a, a medevac plane coming or taking off here. Super chat from Texas Girl, $5. Thank you, Texas Girl, who says, Good afternoon, Walt. Good to see you live again. One of these days, I'll see you at a DFW. I appreciate you and all you do. Well, thank you. So here's the medevac plane they were speaking about. I'll see if it has a destination listed. doesn't have a destination. Learjet 45 is what that was. Southwest 3749, give her enough space for the big screen. Okay, yeah. Actually, yeah, you can continue texting for Southwest 3749, hold short at 31, right? Hey, Tower, South 606, you'll still need a shorter mic one. Number 6, my Juliet, contact region of departure. Over departure, 6, my Juliet. Southwest 3749, Actually, disregard Southwest 554, hold short at 31 right. Southwest 5554, short at 31 right. Southwest 3749, RNF to Mears, runway 31 right, full in, clear for takeoff. RNF to Mears, clear 31 right, clear for takeoff, Southwest 3749. Southwest 606, hold short at Mike 1. Okay, we'll stay right here then. Uh, hold short Mike 1, Southwest 606. Lori M. has just gifted five TriJet memberships. Thank you, Lori. Lori, a long-time member of the channel, Quadjet channel, Quadjet member, I should say. So welcome to all our new members. Thanks to Lori M. So a little bit different viewpoint for for all of us today. Southwest 3749, contact with general departure. 3749, go on departure today. Southwest 5554, RNAP to Mears, runway 31 right, pulling clip for takeoff. RNAP to Mears, runway 31 right, let's say don't have a flight number or destination for this Southwest 
Southwest 5554, contact yeah. regional departure. See you. Good day, have a subscribe. Number 816, Julia Charlie, Love Tower. RNF to Nolan, runway 31 left, clear for takeoff. RNF to Nolan, 31 left, clear for takeoff. RNF to Nolan, 816, Julia Charlie. Tower for Southwest 26, where's our sequence? Is that 26? Yeah, I would say There's a message uh, from Aquasox. Uh, yeah. Number, number two. Who says, Walt, I've planned to watch from that spot, and I've never seen a car stop, stop at the stop sign on that airport operation road. Well, I don't know what to tell you. This is the first time. I, I came here once to just kind of scope it out. And I thought, oh, it might be an interesting spot. Taking into consideration the fact that it's fenced in. And I thought, well, maybe I could bring the uh, the runway DFW ranch pickup truck here, get a little extra height. But uh, I don't know. Maybe if we do this again, we'll do it that way. Charlie, contact with another point. Have a good day. Number six, Jewish, Charlie, Karen Monson says a nice skyline, skyline backdrop. Runway DFW poster. Well, it'd be nicer if we had a little clearer shot of it. But uh, at any rate, well, what I want to do now is to pop in our tribute to, to our right channel right members. If I can see my mouse cursor, there it is. So here we go. We're going to thank our, our channel members. And of course, that, uh, that list always begins with the sponsor of Runway DFW. And his name is James Webb. Thank you to James Webb for all you do for this channel. And I'd like to pay special thanks to our top tier members who are uh, quad jet personnel. And that includes names you see all the time here, such as A-list flyer Chris and Beaker and Honeydew, Beve, Cubs win, Deborah Klein, Dimitri H, Dwayne C, James Tokini, James Webb, Josh Aldrich, Kai, Kansas Avgeek, Landis McGowey, Lori M, Michael Schwartzkopf, Michelle R.S., Pete, Pete Nordine, R. Bauer 25, Raina Taylor, S35 Bonanza Pilot, Skittles, Steve Lundeby, and Will Hutchison, our Quad Jet channel members. And now for the next I don't know, I think 15 minutes or so, you're going to be seeing the names of all of our other channel members, Tri-Jet and Twin-Jet, as they scroll by. And I thank each and every one of them for their support of Runway DFW. And if you're a new member, uh, this, this list was compiled at 1 a.m. this morning. So watch for your name on our next broadcast. You just saw Flight 606 off to Midland, Texas, a 737 700, 17 year old airframe. Southwest 26, RNF to Barry, runway 31 right, pulling, clip for takeoff. Clear one drive, clip for takeoff, RNF Barry, Southwest 26. And I believe this will be flight 26 going to Birmingham, Alabama. 
It's a 737-700. <laughs> I see somebody over there. So come over. Good to see you too. What camera are we on? Okay. <laughs> I just was in the area. <laughs> so you you work around here then? I guess. Okay. Arnav Low. Arnav. Well, so good to see you. So you triangulated where I was. I guess so. Here I am. You can't miss me. Well, I could, you know, either I should be higher or the fence should be lower, but. They could just build a mound up there on that grassy section, and that would be great. Yeah. Yeah. So we had a new member pop in there. And so. Let's see, Eminem plane spotting. Hello, Walt, and everyone. What location is this? Um, we are on the east side of Dallas Love Field. A little uh, cul de sac. Let me get the name of it here again because I can't remember what it was. So this is called Crest, Crest Haven Road. We're at the uh, the tail end of Crest Haven Road here. So that hope that answers your question. And so I'm in mean, plain sight. So says, "Looks like a great vantage point." It is if you're just kind of casually watching. I don't know if it's, you know, really ideal for our purposes because we really do like to not shoot through fences to give you an unobstructed view. And uh, for us, if I can point our camera over to where we would normally be on this day, uh, there's the parking garage that overlooks the east side of the airport. Normally we're up on top of there, or if it's inclement weather, we're on the the level next to the low or next to the top level to give us some protection. But it's a nice place to watch airplanes from. So now we are going to be looking for coming out of the sky, flight 17, flight 1673. This will be a Max 8. Arriving from Denver. <laughs> Delta 
44, left power, rolling 31 left, and team testing position. Southwest 48, 44. Number 7, Romeo Delta, contact region at point seven three. Go on departure, one six seven, Romeo Delta. Southwest 2665, wind at zero one zero at 5 RNAV to Nolan, runway 31 left, clear for takeoff. RNAV Nolan, clear for takeoff, 31 left, Southwest 2665. Number 7, 4, call from here, runway 31 left, 39, caution wind, 7, 737, departing. 31 left, clear land, that's 4, call from here. Southwest 4844, left tower number 2, runway 31 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 31 left, Southwest 4844. Number 794, Sierra Bravo, left tower, runway 31 right, full length, line of point, thanks for your patience. Line of point, 31 right, full length, 4, Sierra Bravo, well, thank you. Mike 5, Mike, ground here. Mike 5, Mike, ground, southwest 1633, see ya. Southwest 2665, contact region or departure seat. Contact departure, southwest 2665. I don't have an ID there on that uh, private jet getting ready to take off. I suspect this will go up over the fence for us. Well, yeah. See that one on the radar. I don't know, what, don't know where that's going. Southwest 1449, There's a plane coming in over on the west side of Dallas Love Field. Looks like a Max 8 arriving from San Antonio, flight 1449. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, we're headed into Twin Jet membership territory. Thank you to all our Twin Jet members. And there's Johnny Dodge, who's, who's out there on his phone, just running some business errands and happened to find us, happened to triangulate us. Communicating with all of you. And we can see you in front of us. Ground, uh, 
by 1449 just landed from San Antonio. A Max 8. See if we can see an Alaska Airlines plane take off. It's taking off from the east side, the west side, sorry. Flight 589, 737-900. So we'll just kind of point our camera over here to the west. And see if we can see it take off. Kind of counting down to the final moments here of our broadcast. Um, you know, I'd say this was an experiment. What do you think about this uh, location, Johnny? I don't think it's terrible. Is that the parking garage you're normally up to? Yeah. That's what yeah. I was thinking because of the view, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, the fence a little bit, but I don't think it's terrible. And tank trucks. That's uh, another impediment. Planes need some little drinks sometimes. Yes, they do. <laughs> He's loaded with tight eight or ten thousand. Yeah. <laughs> I think the uh, Founders Plaza uh, fence is a little lower. There. Well, it's probably about the same height, but but Founders Plaza is up on a, a rise, so. But I don't. Think it's not bad. I mean, for casual viewing, it's fine. Yeah. You get up close to the action. You get the to hear the planes. Yeah, because you're right next to the runway. Yeah. I mean, you're right here. So. Tower number 2235, Joy, left tower runway 309. Push land when you're watching the way over. I just turned to just to see, take a chance. Oh, boy, here you are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good place. And now <laughs> we were waiting for the Alaska Airlines plane to take off. I don't see it on the radar anymore. Did it go on without us? Mm. I think uh, it fell off the radar. But we do have. I'll show you. Huh? Oh, it did go off? Oh, okay. Oh, well. Well, now our, our view of the uh, the takeoff position is kind of partially blocked by our friends at Wasatch Tank Lines once again. Hello, Tower 1474, good you on a visual, 31 right. Tesla's 1474, love tower, runway 31 right, search land, one zero one zero four. So master and I, so Yeah, I see Chuck Tolsman in there. Hello, Chuck. Channel member Rigoberto Juarez says, we've got more than 200 likes. Thank you for that, for everybody who has done that. Magoo Manor says, good vibes to Walt and the Moderation Federation, but the trucks were not my favorite part. Yeah, I know. Got a plane coming in from the south. not appearing on my radar. And once again, thank you to all of our channel members. We've gotten through our list of 400 members. Thank you, Wasatch Tank Lines, for exiting. But I can't tell you what this shiny object is here on approach. You know, I'll bet, I'll bet you that in, within five years, there will be AI plugins that you can use 
on your camera that would say, uh, I don't want to see that fence. Take that fence out, you know, give us a nice clear shot of everything coming in. Now the fence would still be there, but the AI would erase it from the picture. I would envision that you could just swing your, your advanced camera around from right to left so that it could map the fence. And then it would use its artificial intelligence to fill in the, the gaps of the fence and give you a very nice, clean, clear picture without a fence in it. That's my prediction. All right, we've got flight uh, 1474 coming in from Tulsa. It's a 737-700. Southwest Airlines. And a little off here. There it is. Well, this may have to be our last aeroplane because I've got to get back to my regular job here on this midday edition of Runway VFW. Well, I think that's going to do it for us on this kind of, I don't know, it kind of, seems like an experimental broadcast more than, a, than the real thing, but uh, we're glad you could, could uh, pop in with us. Oh, you know what that song means. That means we're about to go away. Um, I will be turning on the Runway DFW official uh, chat stravaganza after we get done here. But in the meantime, I would like to thank very much our channel sponsor, James Webb. Thank you, James, for everything you do for this here channel. Hats off to you and uh, as well to Kevin at Airline Videos Live, who I think is on the air right now. Uh, so if you're not doing anything, go pop over there and see some action from LAX. I think he's high atop today. And as always, thank you to the Runway DFW Moderation Federation, the Mod Fed, here with us to make your chatting experience a pleasant one. So we'll take that screen out. We will put in our closing music and... Uh, Thanks again for watching. Happy contrails to you until we meet again, and thanks to Johnny Dodge for showing up in person. Travel arrangements for overseas acts and promotional consideration furnished by Pan American World Airways, the world's most experienced airline. Pan Am makes the going great. This is Dick Tufel speaking.
tonight. Uh, we're about to shove off. It's almost time for chat extravaganza. Um, uh, let's see, what did I have to say here? Jolt Jack. Is that who I was trying to find? I think so. But anyway, I'll get to your pictures next time. Because we're running out of time here on Runway DFW. So now it's time for uh, this. Yes, it's Chat Stravaganza, where you, the Runway DFW viewer, get to uh, hang out for a while with us while we pack things up. We don't have as much to pack up today, so it won't be as long of a a CSG as we normally have, but uh, we're going to put on our music that you've uh, come to, I don't know, like, but appreciate anyway. And so hang out with us now on Chat Stratagenza, and we'll see you soon.
happy voice.
I've been chatting here with uh, Johnny Dodge, who's right there behind me. 
been just chatting all, all about all sorts of stuff. Um, thank you for watching Runway DFW. Uh, not after dark, but at Dallas Love Field on the Chats Travaganza. We'll be back. I don't know if we'll be back this weekend or not. I got to check the weather. So keep those uh, those bell alarms, those notification bells clicked. Thank you for your likes and subscriptions. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time on Runway DFW.